In yesterday's video, we used ChatGPT to create a Docker file with a Docker Hub based image. But will it be able to create one from scratch? Let's find it out. So here I have my Backfrap account and my Backfrap container section. And I also have my GitHub, which is totally empty, so I don't have any Docker file. So let's ask ChatGPT to create a Docker file to run the same application that we used on the Docker Hub based image from yesterday. So here I have ChatGPT and we are going to write our prompt. Create a Docker file, Ubuntu based, that updates the packages list, then installs Nginx, then exports port 8080. Hit enter and let's see what ChatGPT will create for us. So it's using the Ubuntu from Ubuntu base image into its latest version. It's running apt-get update to update all the packages list and apt-get install minus y nginx, so it will install nginx. And look, it's running set to create the uh, configuration file for nginx that will expose port 8080 because nginx usually runs in port 80 only, but this port is closed into the Ubuntu distribution. So it understands that you will have to expose port 8080 instead, then it exposes port 8080 for the container and starts the Nginx daemon. So we're going to copy this code, go back to our GitHub, click add file, create new file, name it docker file, and paste that code in, scroll down, click commit new file. Now go back to back for app, click create a new app, select our first container GitHub repo, call it Nginx once again, leave it everything default and hit create app. This will start the deployment. Uh, if you notice, yesterday we used a built image, so it was very, very fast. Today we are building the image, so this should take a little while. It seems to be working. Downloading the Ubuntu distribution, running the apt-get uh, update. As you can see, it's starting the Nginx uh, daemon in here. This will also probably take a little while. Launching the container. And deployment ready. So if this works, I have only to click here in the green link and I should be the Nginx default web page. And there you go, Nginx running from backfrap containers with 100% created Docker file by ChatGPT. So if you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you're already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or any implementation you'd like to see, please leave it on the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful for you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.